Hey, what's up? How's it going, everyone? Jared here. While not everyone needs a Chromebook, or for that matter, even sees the point in them, I'm one of those people who owns one and uses it every single day. Having said that, let's take a look at the newly updated Acer Chromebook R13 with Android app support. The R13 is a very well-built, mid-range to high-end Chromebook. For build materials, we're looking at an aluminum top with what I believe is plastic for the rest of it, but I'm not 100% sure because I can't find any actual info on build materials anywhere. But it is a very sharp looking Chromebook, if I do say so myself. Uh, for I.O., on the left side, we're looking at a USB-C port for charging and data, HDMI out, USB 3.0, and a micro SD card slot. And on the right, we've got a power button, a couple of indicator LEDs, a 3.5 millimeter jack, and volume rockers. On the bottom, we've got a series of screws for getting into it, though I don't believe there's much that can be done. And then there's our stereo speakers, which actually sound really good for a Chromebook. Uh, I was sincerely impressed. Unfortunately, I found that while on my lap, the sound is muffled, but when sitting on a flat surface, the speakers are raised enough to provide great audio. Opening the display, we're looking at a 13.3 inch 1080p IPS display, which looks awesome, but is glossy and shows reflections really well, which I'm not a huge fan of. But colors pop, images are sharp, and I actually quite enjoyed streaming video content from Netflix, especially in tent mode where the speakers are sort of facing you. And actually, that's one of the big features on this machine. It's multi-positional, so you can toss it into tablet mode, tent mode, or lay the keyboard flat. It's not something I go looking for in laptops or Chromebooks, but it's there if you're into that sort of thing. The display hinge has great friction, but it's very bendy, which really concerns me as a computing investment. Like, how long will that last until it just pops out of one of the sides? And more to that, the display is wobbly, which drives me nuts on any notebook type device. And it's exaggerated while using the touch screen while in the standard position, because yes, the display is also a touch screen, which is actually pretty useful while using Android apps. So yes, the R13 is compatible with Android apps, though right now it is in beta. Uh, I've only noticed a few hiccups here and there, but having said that, playing games which perform great on this machine or using any Android app really is made infinitely easier with the ability to simply use your finger instead of something like a mouse. The keyboard isn't anything special. Uh, we've got all the standard Chromebook keys and typing has decent travel though quite shallow and also silent. I personally prefer hearing the clickety clacks but some folks prefer a silent typing experience and that's what you'll get here. The trackpad's great, I've really enjoyed using it and it has a nice smooth texture with click anywhere functionality. The R13 is running a MediaTek MT8173C processor with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal eMMC flash storage. Would it have been nice to have an actual SSD? Sure, but does a Chromebook really need an SSD at an additional cost to the end user? Probably not. One thing I really liked and picked up on right away was the absence of a cooling fan. It's just not necessary. So this thing runs completely silent, unlike my other Chromebook that runs an Intel CPU, which actually needs cooling. So up to 12 hours of battery life is what's claimed, and I can certainly see that being the case if you set the display at maybe 50% brightness, but for me, Although the display gets adequately bright, I found myself setting it at max 90% of the time I used it. So in my experiences, I was seeing something more like nine to 10 hours of battery, which is still really good and certainly much better than my other Chromebook, which normally gets me about seven to eight hours. And before I forget, because it's that insignificant, at the top of the display is a 720p webcam. It's terrible, like really bad, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. But at the end of the day, it's a great Chromebook with some great features, but I don't like the hinge flex, I don't like the screen wobble, and I'm not a fan of the speakers being on the bottom. But the display is awesome, the speakers do sound terrific, it's got great battery life, and I love the ability to download and run Android apps, and I really like the look and design of it. But what do you all think of these multi-positional devices? Do you even like Chromebooks? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. But that does it for this one. Show me some like button love if you liked the video, and subscribe if you're new to my stuff, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.